Hey guys, I'm Chewy Mew and welcome to my channel, but more specifically, welcome to another Chewy Mew video. Shout out to Bully McGuire. He recently got a uh, Spin Kick Spider-Man. I think he said eBay. He got one of these guys and he said the figure had a loose ab joint, but mine, uh, it's not loose and that's because I used a trick. And he asked, he asked me, uh, hey dude, how do you, uh, do you have any like tips of how you tighten up joints and stuff? And yes, I do. I totally do. That's going to be showing off in this video. I'm going to be showing off how to tighten some figure joints and uh, some other stuff too. This, uh, this bucket right here, or this like uh, this tray thing with all of my all of the accessories I use for my customizing and stuff, as well as if I go down here, it's probably going to be hard to see. Let me take this here. Oh crap! I've got this bucket bucket of a bunch of different paints here, and my display base fell over. You can see me right there. My display base fell over because I moved the light. I'm trying to get that to go back to how it was. Come on. How did I have it? Oh crap, everything's falling. This it's this is over. I give up. I'm quitting YouTube now. No. Are you kidding me, really? Ah! What the heck happened? What did I do? Okay, if it falls over again, I'm just gonna delete my channel. F's in the chat for Chewy Mew. Alright, okay. So yeah, I have this bucket of paint down there. I have that box with the uh, tool supplies, or like, uh, yeah, supplies for customizing and stuff. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to tighten up joints. I do have the Ultimate Lizard, which his upper torso is kind of loose there. It kind of swivels back and forth. Uh, who else is there that has, a loose, that has loose joints? Actually, while I'm here, I'll show you what I did to this guy, too. My camera's too close up. Um... Who else is there? And I'm trying to see if I have any other figures that I could that I, I could tighten up the joints to show you guys. I don't doesn't seem like I have many. These these four guys I can kind of show you what I do to them. So first off, what I have is these this called glue dots, which uh, the packaging I threw away the packaging. But you can see there's these little you can even see that. I don't know if it's possible. You can see that like little glue dot there. Don't mind the hair right there. So you can buy these at like Walmart or like a craft store. You can buy them at most places. I've seen them at Walmart. They're like in the office supplies section. So these these are pretty sticky. Like they uh they stick pretty good. Like using clay, but I'm terrible with sculpting stuff, so I kind of use these for customs. I have a bunch of different kinds. Like they're for like doing different things. I'm trying to find the um trying to find the one that has uh has like this exact exacto knife kind of point. So I typically use these for customizing or for uh, you know fixing stuff. I'm gonna show you guys how I work, how it works with these four. I take off one of these glue dots, and depending on what you're tightening, it sometimes is kind of different. I'm trying to peel this off there. Come on. When you try peeling it off, try not to you know get it. Try to keep it as like circular as possible. But in this case, I'm gonna stretch it out like this, like get it all stretched out. Oh, and the torso is kind of like opening up there. What the heck? Like, what it does, because uh, they're sticky, sometimes I use them as just kind of like a rubber band kind of thing, and then it makes, like, a tight thing. And then, like, if you stick something to it, they get stuck together, and so if you twist it, like, if you twist the figure joint, the glue dot kind of, like, causes friction. Here's another glue dot, let's try it again. So you want to try having the biggest gap as you can, like, try and get, like, a big gap. So you stick it in there like this. So this is how you do it with, like, a ball-jointed torso, but I'll show you how you do it with, like, a waist and stuff. I'm going to get these tangled up in here. You kind of just want to, like, string it through the figure. Like, I'm sorry, the glue dot is, it's clear, so it's kind of hard to see it. And then there, the glue dot eventually rips. And you want to take your, take a tool, like a flat kind of tool like this, and you want to stick them in there. Then you want to, you want to, like, try to get it there so you can see how I push it in there. And then you want to, like, hold the plastic, push it down with your finger, then slide out your tool, and it should get stuck inside. So it's kind of like tightening up the joint. And you see, like, it's a lot tighter there. It's still a little loose. Let's do the same with the arm. I'll show you how it works on an arm. 